way we're going to start to put the seals back in here. I got a little bit confused earlier because this is the original seal that came out, this rubbery thing. And to put it back in, there is another seal here. It's steel backed. Well, I wonder if that's for the nose. Anyway, we're going to put this one in. I'll put some little bit of red rubber grease on it just to help it on its way. Then we want this steel washer. And then the circlip. No, I haven't done the circlip. There we go. Now, is that down? We don't know. That's it. Just give the little ears a little banging over. So that's that. The next one, we now fit the seal on here. Again, we'll just give this a bit of a starter for 10 with some rubber grease. Now, ooh, I wonder if somebody's been in this before. There's a notch in here. Now, when we took this apart, we didn't have a notch. Well, we didn't see a notch. Can you see that there? There's a groove here. Hmm. Boy, oh boy, now what do I do? What's that groove in there for? It just looks like somebody's drilled into there. Well, as you see, when we took it apart, I didn't drill it. Um, has somebody replaced this seal before? By drilling it. Sugar. And you know, like drilled into it. Darn. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna clean this rubber grease up. And I'm gonna put some uh, epoxy in it. Because I just don't like that at all. So we'll put that into there. Yeah. Oh, like that. Damn, I've got to clean it all up now. <laughs> back soon. See, we are back on this steering box. What I did last night, I put some uh, JB Weld in here. It's a great product, but to eliminate as much sa as sanding as I could, I put the old seal back in. And now all I need to do is just touch it up a bit. And that's it. Lovely job. So now we can put the seal in. Don't use screwdrivers or anything like that. There we go. That's in. Now there's supposed to be a paper seal. More like a shimmer this. Oh wait a minute, is that too that's too big? This box is confusing. Yeah. It's too big. I think I put the old one in. It's only paper shim. Oh, it was only paper shim, just dropped a bit. Right, that's that then. So I'll have to trim this one down to fit. Right, that's the ceiling. That's the paper thing trimmed down. Now there's that seal there, and where's our snap ring to go? Mm -hmm. I might get it in so far and then...
But, but these boxes are just a nightmare. There, it's in. <laughs> Boy, that was uh, that was a bit tricky. So that's the seals in. So the next thing, so we got those seals in, oh yes, yes we did get it right. Fit shaft seal, fit oil seal, blah 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 blah, fit the valve and the worm assembly. Right. Fit the valve and the worm assembly. Oh we have it right way around in here. So that's the valve and the worm assembly. I think I'll just use a bit of Vaseline on that, the bearings and things. So that one goes onto here. Oops, where's this one? I think the seat, yeah, the race is still in there. A little bit of Vaseline on these rings here. Oh, before I do that, I've noticed something. There is an adjustment here on the side uh, to adjust this shuttle backwards and forwards. Uh, you can move this, and I'm not sure if it's in the right place. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get that out. Um, and I'm sure it's just a plug. So I'll get that out now and then uh, we'll take it the next step. Right, so uh, I didn't film that bit because it's a bit boring, but this is a little plug on the side and that should correspond to that screw here. It moves this little shuttle backwards and forwards so I don't know, I'm going to try it. Um, I've got some grease on there. Put some grease on the shaft. Grease on there. See how this goes and see if I'm right if it lines up. It says it's specifically done set in the factory, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure how we actually test it. This is really tricky box. Oh, oh. No. Is that all the way through? I don't think so. I'm going to see if I can screw it down a bit using this thing here. I'm going to take that seal off first. Put that to one side. As I say, I've never done one of these before, so... That's better. Put some lube in there. I didn't put the seal on because I'm just wanting to... fasten that down and push. I want to push this out. Make sure it's like all the way out because otherwise you'll get a false reading.
Well, that went through better. Oh yeah, well that's that's good. I'm going to have to take this a bit again because I've noticed there's some dust in there. 